speech. Uh, my name is Kelly Moran, and this is Gun Violence and Why It Should Not Be Ignored. And I want everybody to picture this, that you're a 15-year-old girl. You've been invited to go to the president's inauguration, January. You're a majorette. You've got your outfit. You tell me your mom. You said goodbye to everybody. You performed. And then on January 23rd, you go back to back home to Chicago. You're on a playground. You're an honor roll student. You just finished some tests that day. You're sitting on the playground with your friends, and all of a sudden you see a man running towards you. You don't know the man. You don't know where he's come from, and he has a gun in his hand. He shoots your friend, and he shoots you, and you lay there dying in the street. That was a story about Hyda Pendleton. She was a 15-year-old young girl who was killed by gun violence. And when I say gun violence, I don't mean violence as, oh, you're in a situation where it's been a breaking and entering. I mean, someone's used a concealed weapon to, and on the intent of harm, and on the intent of taking someone's life. When I went back to look what guns were for, they were first created in the 15th century in China. They were, uh, it was, Alchemists blended charcoal, salt, pet, salt peter, and sulfur into a powder and called it hu ya, and that was used to treat skin infections. And then later on, it went into the 19th century when they were used for a firing mechanism, when they were shot through catapults. So guns were mainly used in war scenarios, um, always at, before there were spears, there were bow and arrows, but then guns were introduced into society. And from there, they were taken from the war fields and from people who were trained and people who were taught by generals and who were sent there as a place for uh, protection, to protect the people. Now guns slowly were, were uh, replaced into violent situations. There's um, a professor that said that guns were used because they didn't cost, they weren't, they weren't hard to train. It doesn't take that long to teach someone how to use a gun. All you have to do is point and shoot and what happens? Someone either, your target either dies because the intent on a bullet is to kill, not to, you know, injure. It is to kill. Um, now for the use today, Samuel Colt said God made man and then guns made them equal. And the funny thing about it is if you say guns make them equal, you would think, well, okay, yeah, they do make them equal in a war, but what happens when it's an elementary school filled with 26 kids and teachers and people are learning about their alphabets and people are learning how to say their one, two, threes, ABCs, and all of a sudden they're shot dead. So now I go into what recently happened with the Batman movie and how 14 people were killed and how just in the, in the news that a 15 year old, I mean, excuse me, a 13 month baby was shot in the head because she was uh, attacked by, her, the baby's mother was attacked by uh, people who wanted to kill her and wanted to take her wallet, wanted to take her money and the baby died. So my, what I'm trying to move you guys today is to understand that you may feel like you need a gun or you may feel like you do need protection or you have to have a gun in a household, but right now we're talking about not gun protection or gun to help or go into war. This is gun violence. This is people, innocent lives. That's why I passed out the paper so you can, you can put a, a, a face to what's happening, that you could say that there was a mother, there was a daughter, there was someone's son, there was something that happened that made that there wasn't, it's just not the news. There's a family that's been, been you know, th their lives have changed because the NRA, they go into every day, the, the gun industry is $31.8 billion is what they made in 2012. And they lobbyists, they said they stoked, they like the fear that people see. It's like, Speaking up about gun violence is not fearing guns. It's putting an end and really talking to your politicians, talking to the city council, and, and letting people know what you want to happen and what we stand for. Because we can't ignore it. We have to, we have to say that this can no longer happen. So what I come today is to say, when does it stop? When do we just 
turn on the TV and look at the channel and see people being killed? When do we speak up and send a petition and rally together and talk to people? Because one day it could be us coming to school. One day it could be our child going to, uh, going to the movie theater with her friends. So we need to put an end to violence, all types of violence, and especially gun violence. Thank you. Thank you.